Hi and back here we are, we're inside the property now. Um, this is again a 1930s style uh, property. It's dated, um, not a lot has been done to it at all. Uh, there's some tr um, really nice features of this property uh, that's going to help us um, when we resell it. It's overlooking a golf course, it's in a very nice area and um, this is quite a sought after area. So I'm just walking you through. So what we've got is um, entrance hallway here, a traditional staircase, and um, here's where the first evidence of a little bit of dampness. Now interestingly, this is an internal wall, so it's um, strange to have this dampness here. So there's clearly uh, a lot of moisture inside the property. Um, people would see this as rising damp, it's um, because the older property is a cavity wall with no insulation, uh, you will get a buildup of condensation over the years. So a typical um, gas fire bay window, and we're looking to replace these windows because when the property is finished, I believe that those uh, windows are going to be out of keeping with what I've got planned to bring this property up to a modern standard. We've started taking the kitchen out. And this here is the rear lounge, large bay window here, and I will show you from upstairs in a few minutes um, why that window is there. We've got to have a clearer view later on. Now we have got some damp issues along this wall, and this is because this wall here is single skin, and you can see the wallpaper peeling off. Now the plan here is, is we're going to put a sliding door looking onto the garden. And then, if I just spin you around, this wall here is taking you on to the kitchen. Now, my plan here is to take this wall out so that we're going to make this whole room a large kitchen dining family room. You'll understand why in a second when I take you inside. Into the kitchen here. So, this is an extension. You can see up there... That is the rear main wall, which has been removed and there's been a lintel put in and a little extension put out here. So as you can see, for a very nice property, this kitchen is quite small. It's quite linear. Uh, up the, this end of the kitchen, we have uh, a cupboard here with the boiler, which we're going to move. And into this area here, we have a downstairs toilet. Now the other side of this wall is the hallway. So the plan is, is that we're going to put an opening in this wall and bring the access to the toilet from the hallway and then we're going to block this doorway up. So we don't really need access to the toilet from the kitchen. This cupboard here is going to go. The boiler we're going to move over and then hopefully my plan is going to be that that wall is going and we'll have a full open lounge uh, family room. Now, we've just come into this property. Now, we're just checking. You see, this extension is cavity wall. But one way of checking to see that it's not a solid wall is that we don't have headers uh, are visible in this area here. It is, it is stretcher bond, which shows us that it is a cavity wall and not a solid wall. Okay, let's just take you upstairs a minute. We're going to be putting a new doorway here. There's an old stair lift which has got to go. Clearly an old person was living here before. Oh, here's an interesting aspect. You can see this crack up the building here. And that's to do with the movement on this left-hand wall. Nothing severe at all. That type of thing would put a lot of people off, in all honesty. So into the rear main bedroom, nothing really to do in here other than to take the wallpaper off and to uh, make it more modern. And here's the benefit of the rear of this property. We're overlooking a golf course and because of this area here, it's uh, quite a, um, a sought after area. And there's a fantastic view of the um, Brecon Beacons and the Black Mountains in South Wales here. So it's a fantastic opportunity, this property. As I say, not a lot to do up here. Rear main bedroom, uh, sorry, second bedroom on the rear. Not the bad size again. And again, that overlooks onto the golf course. Into the front main bedroom. And this is where the 
defects uh, visible. We're now on the inside of that crack that I just mentioned in video one outside. And this is what's happened because of the rusting of those lintels. You can see it's physically put the wall out of shape. Again, this defect would have put a lot of people off buying this house. So if you think about somebody coming to buy this house to live in, there's a lot of work to be done here. But from our point of view, when we're buying to refurbish to sell, this is right up our street. There's another crack there, which again is as a result of that lintel expanding uh, because of the corrosion. And it's causing all of the brickwork walls here to become defective. This bathroom, typical 1930s, 40s, horrible colour, fully tiled, will be taking all this out. There's a cupboard right here, and then just around the corner, there is a, down to a, 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 a toilet. What we're going to be doing is, because this wall here um, forms the bulkhead of the staircase, what we're going to do is we're going to take all that wall out, which and um, this cupboard area here, which is housed a sort of airing cupboard, really. Um, what we're going to do is take all this structure out and then make the whole um, bathroom a much bigger bathroom and make it more modern. So there we are. Um, hope you've enjoyed that which is um, the second video in this short series. And just to let you know what we're looking at here, we've bought this property um, for about 40% of what it's going to be remarketed at. So we're going to be making quite a lot of money on this property. Um, so keep tuned in. Video 3 will be a little bit um, further along the line when we've got more to show you. So thank you very much and keep tuned in. Thanks.